Welcome on this tutorial. Wish all you are well. In this tutorial, I am going to describe how to start with Microchip Studio. Microchip Studio is an IDE used for the application of AVR and SAM group of microcontroller. Here, I will describe how AVR microcontroller can be programmed and can be run by using Microchip Studio. I will start how to create a new project, where and how to write program in C code, how to compile and ultimately I will show how to burn hex code and how to run simulation to get the output. Entering into the discussion, please subscribe and support me. It will encourage to upload more and more important tutorials. Opening Microchip Studio by clicking this shortcut icon. We may open it from start menu also. Clicking microchip studio this is start page of microchip studio to start new project we may enter into file new project i may click this project to start new project or i may start from this new project menu clicking this new project this is new project wizard in this opening dialog i have to select few features under this installed, I need to select C or C++ language. I have to select type of project. There are different types of project here. I am selecting the first one, which is AVR XC8C application project. Next, I have to set the name of the project. Say, I am giving the name of project as getting, getting started. I have to set the path of project. To set the path of project, clicking this browse say i'll create the project under this folder microchip studio select folder i have to tick this create directory for solution all microchip studio project belong to a solution and by default microchip studio will use the same name for both the project and newly created solution when this box is ticked Microchip solution will generate a new folder with the specified solution name at the location specified by the location field. Now clicking this OK. The device selection window opens. This device selection window is used to specify the microcontroller which we will use for our work. A list of microcontroller has been given here. I have to choose proper microcontroller. Say I will use atmega 328p which is in Arduino. So in device family I am selecting atmega and to search 328 I am writing 328 in search for device box. See this is atmega 328p. Clicking on this atmega 328p it is selected as well as the name of the supported tools are also given here. Now clicking OK. So device selection is already over. See here it is indicating at mega 328p. New project getting started has been created under AVR X8C application project and this has been created to work on at mega 328p AVR device. This is the main window of created project. The main parts are this is menu bar, this is toolbar. This is main source editor and this is output area. The main editor is for the source file in the current project. This is solution explorer. See the name solution getting started. From this solution getting started we may see that main.c is automatically created. The solution explorer will list the contents of newly generated solution though at present nothing is there inside dependencies or output files. Only main.c is created with recommended hash include file. Now if we look the folder where the project has been saved, say this is microchip studio. Inside this folder I have created the project named as getting started. When the project has been created, what is there inside? I am entering into this getting started. There is a getting started dot atsln file. There is another getting started folder entering into it. I see main.c and other supporting files and there is another folder debug. Inside this debug folder, at present see nothing is here. But when we will write C programming and we will perform the build operation, 
then different files along with hex file will be generated and that will be inside this debug folder for the time being i am closing it so creation of new project is over what is the next part the next part is to write the proper c program say here i am writing a c programming to make the buzzer on or off with one second interval and buzzer is connected at pin number d6 at port d of arduino uno having at mega 328p so this is the main function of our program the main function consists of different sub function this buzzer on is for turn on the buzzer buzzer off is for turn off the buzzer in between this turn on and turn off a delay function has been used this underscore delay underscore ms and inside this thousand has been used as argument this thousand is in millisecond so this delay function will create a delay of one second this buzzer on delay buzzer of delay this four sub functions are inside a while loop so while on this one inside this parenthesis indicates that the condition in while loop is true and it will remain true for the infinite time means this while loop will continue so what will happen here buzzer will be on for one second next buzzer will be off for one second again buzzer will be on for one second again buzzer will be off for one second so this will continue so what we need we need to write functions buzzer on and functions of buzzer off what is another thing another thing is that we need to configure the port where the buzzer has been connected so this is another function buzzer pin configuration i need to write this buzzer pin configuration also so what are the sub functions i need buzzer pin configuration buzzer on buzzer off and delay now how to configure the pin I am not entering in details into the programming because my target or my motto is here to show how to start with microchip studio. So lightly I am explaining the program. In this tutorial I will use simulation and where I will connect buzzer at 6th pin of port D of at mega 328p in Arduino board. So say this is Arduino Uno having at mega 328p. This pin number 6 which is connected with the buzzer, this ground pin is connected at ground. So I have to configure the pins. How it is configured? There are normally three registers related with each port in AVR type of microcontroller. The registers are DDR, data direction register, port register and pin register. This data direction register is used for identify whether a particular port is acting as output port or input port. Say I am using here port D. So we have to configure DDRD, port D and pin D. The bit of DDR register is set as 1 when the port is used as output port. And this is set as 0 when the port is used as input port. This port D register is used to provide the logic signal to the output devices when the port is used as output. When a particular port is used as input, then this port register is used to set whether it is activated the pull-up register or deactivated the pull-up register. In this case, buzzer is connected with port D of the microcontroller. Buzzer is a output device. So, sixth bit of DDR register will be set as logic 1 and this port D register will be set as logic 0 or logic 1. The sixth bit of this port D register will be logic 0 when we need to buzzer off and sixth bit of this port D register will be on when we will make buzzer on. Under this buzzer pin configuration, the first instruction buzzer DDR register or is equal to on left shift operator buzzer pin. What is this buzzer pin? Buzzer pin is sixth number of pin that has been identified here by this has defined buzzer pin 6. This DDRD and port D has been defined as buzzer DDR register and buzzer port register. 
So the first instruction inside this barrel pin configuration is used to set the 6 bit of DDR register with 1. The next instruction is used to set the 6 bit of this port D register with logic 0 to make the buzzer off at initial condition. Inside this buzzer on, this instruction is written to make 6 pin of port D register with logic 1. And for the case of buzzer off, this instruction is written to 6 bit of port D register with logic 0. So, what is happening here? When this buzzer on function will be executed, then 6 bit of port D register will get logic 1. When buzzer off function will be executed, 6 bit of port D register will be logic 0. So, buzzer will be off. So, what will happen here? under the main function first by this function call the port will be configured next it will enter into the while loop buzzer will be on for one second then buzzer will remain off for one second and this will continue later i will explain the program clearly how the program has been written the next part is the compilation of the program for that what i need to do i'll click this build and then this rebuilt solution so clicking this rebuild solution see here the indication rebuild succeeded rebuild all rebuild all succeeded so there is no error and the rebuild function is perfectly happened if there was any syntax error inside the program in that case we might get the errors indication at this location of output i am showing here say Intentionally, I am entering error into the programming. Now, again running this rebuild solution. See here, red marking indicates that these are the different errors inside the program. Now, I am omitting the error and again clicking this rebuild solution. Say, build succeeded. So, there is no error. What is happening after this? After this building operation, if we see inside this dependencies, see there are so many header files automatically written. From where this header file automatically came, these are already written in Microchip Studio. And inside this output files, now these files are created. What are these files created? Getting started .ep, .elf, .hex, .lss, .map like this. We can see these different files in debug folder also. Now I am again opening that debug folder under my project. See, this is that debug folder and inside this debug folder, these are different files. We need this .x file to burn the microcontroller. So compilation of program is over. At present, I am not using any hardware development board. So to show the operation of this microcontroller application, I am using here the simulation, Simul IDE. I have opened Simul IDE software, how to install and how to open it. I had shown it in previous tutorial. Here I may make the circuit, already I have made it in separate tutorial. I'll show how to make different circuits in Simul ID. So this is that Arduino board and at pin number 6, the buzzer is connected. Now to burn the hex file, what I need, right click on this Arduino, load firmware. Then I have to select that hex file which is just generated under this debug folder. So opening this. So the hex file has been burnt into this at mega 3 to 8p simulation. Now we need to run the microcontroller. While we will run the microcontroller, the buzzer will make sound for one second. Then it will be off for one second. Again it will start to make sound for one second. Then it will be off for one second. In this way it will continue. So for running the simulation. I am clicking this power circuit button. See, buzzer is making on or off with an interval of one second and it is continuously operating. Throughout the discussion, I have tried to describe stepwise operation 
how to start with microchip studio i have shown how to create new project where and how c code is written i have shown where and when the hex file is generated and how that hex file is burned into the microcontroller in previous tutorial i have shown how to download and install microchip studio and simul id if you not yet gone through it please see previous tutorials i believe this tutorial will help you all to start with microchip studio in next tutorial i'll show different applications using microchip studio and avr group of microcontroller <laughs>